The state of hockey is mourning the loss of one of its own today. Henry Boucher passed away yesterday at the age of 72. WCCO's Alan Henry has a look at his life on and off the ice. Warwood, Minnesota is known as Hockey Town USA. One reason for that, it's the hometown of Henry Boucher. My uh, older brothers and sisters came in the house because they needed a goalie and my mother dressed me up and, and uh, sent me out there and I stood in goal and I came in the house all welted up, black and blue. and. But I enjoyed the heck out of myself. Boucher went on to lead the Warriors to the 1969 state championship. A close game the team lost, but a hockey star was born. When when Henry was on the ice and when he had the puck, it was different. It was, you know, people would kind of just hold their breath and, and stand in their seats and, and kind of just watch on, you know, what's he going to do now. Boucher's pro career started in Detroit, winning a silver medal in the 72 Winter Olympics. As a youngster, of course, uh, was 19, I think just turning 20 was, uh, was uh, probably the best hockey player that we had on the club that year. His pro career ended almost as quickly as it began with a gruesome on-ice attack that blinded him in one eye. His impact, though, was undeniable. When Henry made it to the levels that he made it to and, and became as legendary as he did, it just kept all of us the next, like I'm a half generation younger than him, so um, it, it, it was always there for us to know that it's okay to play and be involved in athletics and, and strive to do some of the things Henry did. Alan Henry, WCCO News. Hockey Day Minnesota organizers are now talking about how to honor their hometown hero at the event in War Road this January. The 2024 jerseys were already planned to have a vintage design, a throwback to Boucher's time on the ice.